hi in this video i am going to discuss about this type of question in this type of question they are asking that this is the npda or pda will be given to you and after that you have to identify what type of language will be accepted so actually students are getting confused here because your concept is not clear so i will explain in a easy way and after watching this video there will be no confusion in push down automata so must watch this video till the end and definitely subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get all the latest update and notification so here how to do it see that to understand this transition first of all you have to go to some basic understanding of pda what is pda pda is actually push down automata so this is a one type of machine as we saw the finite automata is there to understanding the regular expression in finite automata you saw there are some number of states we are taking some alphabet and we are going to some state and i will suggest you if you did not watch my toc playlist then definitely go through my toc playlist from the basic some videos are there you will understand that and it will be helpful to you and i am uploading the toc videos here so now push down automata push down automata is actually required to understand the cfl language that is the context free language there are two types of push down automata one is dpda that is deterministic push down automata another is npda that is non deterministic push down automata the difference is they are in deterministic and both are using stack we have to use stack here here is the stack and it is the infinite capacity stack problem on finite automata was there it was not able to do the infinite comparison means what type of comparison that is a to the power n b to the power n if n is greater or equals to 0 then this type of comparison was not possible in finite automata that number of a what is the meaning here number of a equals to number of b this was not possible in finite automata that's why we came to push down automata push down automata have a infinite capacity stack and through the stack it will be able to understand the language actual what is the how it is working first of all uh, you have to know that after that i am coming to the states and all so that you can get some interest here just see that if i am taking a to the power 3 and b to the power 3 how it will work it will work simply a a a 3 a is there after that 3 b is there right means number of a and number of b are equal so it will push the all a a after that another a after that another a then it will pop one a it will compare with b again it will pop one a it will compare with b again it will pop one a it will compare with b and ultimately at the end if the stack is empty then we will say that yes it is accepted this is the ultimate funda here this is the ultimate concept here and there are two way uh, of acceptance that either a, uh, through the empty state or i can reach to the final state also each and every machine is accepting the language if it is reaching to the final state means as per the finite automata we saw that final state is double circle when we are able to reach to final state means the language is accepted so this is also another way if after doing push and pop operation after that doing the comparison if finally at the end of the string you reach to the final state means it will be accepted okay so now here is a difference because the problem is that here i have to work on stack in finite automata the there was no stack so in transition function how to write the transition function that is actually the problem because in this question you can see the transition functions are given so if you are not able to understand the transition function then you will be not able to do the question so that's why here first of all what are the how to define a pda you can see q is the number of states means in this question it is given q0 q1 qf these are the th three states are given so in this question these are the three states that is q0 q1 and qf 
three states are given to you. Sigma is the input alphabet or symbol. So here is the sigma. This is your sigma. A and B are the input alphabet. Okay. So Q is here. These are the number of state. And next one is sigma. This is the input alphabet. Next one is the tau. Tau is the set of push down symbol which can be pushed and popped from the stack. Means for push and pop operation, after push or pop operation, we will use some symbol, extra symbol, what are not using in alphabet. These are the some extra symbol we are going to use here. These symbols are 1 and Z. You can see this symbol. Actually, these are called tau. So, here you can see this is the tau. Next one is the Q0 is the initial state. So, yes, we can see here this is Q0. It is the initial state. And Z is the, uh, Z is the initial push down symbol. Means actually when we are going to start the work. So, Z will be the initial symbol in the stack. This will mention that it is your initial state. That is Z. And QF is actually the final state here. Okay. Other than that, here it is the Z is the final. F is the final state. It is mentioned. Now I have to understand that transition function. How the transition function work? How we should write? We are writing transition function in this way. Q. There is the symbol. We are taking a symbol. That is sigma. Or epsilon. Then we are reaching to another state. It will be more clear from here. Actually, we are writing this transition function like this. You can see this transition function. What we are writing? P, then B, then T. After that, we are writing W and alpha. What is the meaning here? The meaning is here. This implies that while taking a transi transition from state P, means I am in state P. In this P state, it's not Q, I am in P state. In this P state, I am going to Q. When I am going to Q, this is my current state and this is my next state. When I am going to the next state, if I am getting the input symbol B, if I am getting the input symbol B consumed at the top of the stack, now currently in the top of the stack, there is T. So, this is the condition here. Top of the stack there is T and I am taking the input B. Where I am? I am in the state P now. In this situation, where I am going? I am going to the state Q and another some extra work also I am doing here. I am going to the state Q and what is the meaning of W? What is the meaning of W here? Actually, we are going to insert W on the top of the stack. Means it, when I am getting P, when I am getting B, I will insert W in the top of the stack. That is the meaning. Got it? Is it clear? And is replaced by the new string this one. This is replaced by the new string this one. That is the meaning. Now see. Now come to the original question and try to understand what is going on here so first of all q0 when i am in q0 state and what is the situation this is the situation that in the top of the stack there is z and what is i am getting um, input i am getting input lambda lambda means actually no input it is a length 0 input that is we know from the finite automata concept also what is lambda if you don't know that then please go to my toc playlist so i am getting lambda means actually nothing no input then what i am reaching i am reaching to final state actually from q0 if i am getting lambda and top of the stack is 0 then i will reach to final state so qf is my final state so, I will directly reach to the final state in this situation and top of the stack will be as it is that is Z. So, we are not going to insert anything. We are not going to push anything into the top of the stack. This is the meaning of this transition. Now, what is the meaning of the next transition? So, 
next transition meaning is like this if i am in q0 and at that time this is actually not alpha this is a okay here is don't be confused it is a in this q0 top of the stack is z if i am getting a if the ins, if the input is a now i will go to q1 state and i am going to insert 2 1 now what is the meaning of 2 1 and z the meaning is that previously there was already z in the top of the stack it was the previously it was there now i am going to insert 2 1 here so for 1 a i am going to insert 2 1 in the top of the stack that's why now in the top of the stack there is 2 1 and z that is the meaning of this line that yes you are going to q1 and now in the top of the stack there is 2 1 and z so 1a if in q0 for 1a you are getting 1a you are inserting 2 1 now what is the meaning of third line now i think you can understand what is the meaning of third line when i am in q1 and if i am getting again another a then what i am doing i am actually coming to q1 only i am not changing my state and here i am inserting again 2 1 because in the top of the stack there was already one this one was already there now i am inserting again another so already i got one input a for that i insert 2 1 and another a if i am getting then i am inserting again 2 1 so that's why we are writing here 3 1 it was already 1 was there and after that whatever i am inserting that's why here it is written 3 1 that is the meaning now after that in this q1 if i am getting b now if i am getting b if i am getting b what i am doing i am there in q1 only i will be there in q1 only and after that what is going on what is the meaning of this lambda lambda meaning is actually we are going to pop either it can be epsilon or it can be lambda this meaning is actually i am doing a pop operation i am not doing any push operation i am doing here a pop operation this is the meaning of this lambda lambda or epsilon if lambda or epsilon anything is given the meaning is i am doing here the pop operation so means but I am going to pop and always pop operation is always a single operation. You can pop the from the top of the stack. So for this 1B, I will pop 1, 1. Means in the top of the stack there was 1. That is I can do if I am getting B. And the last line is Q1 from this Q1. So here, last line I am explaining after that I am coming to the option. Q1 if i am getting lambda means actually nothing lambda means actually nothing if i am getting lambda with the lambda then i can reach to the final state from here i can reach to the final state actually by lambda and if the top of the stack is z but till now my top of the stack is not z my target is how i can do the top of the stack z so that i can reach to final state and i can accept the language so to do it you can see there are more 3 1 are there so how i can pop this 3 1 from this transition actually i can pop this 3 1 that if i am giving another input b in this q1 if i am giving another input b then this one will be pop if i am getting another input b then this one will be pop if i am giving any the another input b this one will be popped and now if i am getting the z in the top of the stack now z is there and lambda means there is no input and after that i can reach to the final state means ultimately this string is accepted according to this given machine right so now check the option and tell me the answer what is correct is it a to the power 2n b to the power n is it a to the power n b to the power 2n is it a to the power 2n b to the power n 
or it is a to the power n b to the power 2 n what is this and here actually you will see that that these are same ma'am no here it is n is greater or equals to 0 here is n greater than 0 this is also very careful so i am telling you one thing here you can see it is actually a to the power 2 means there are number of a is 2 and number of b is 4 means what it is it is very clear very clearly it is a to the power n and b to the power 2 n because for every a i am inserting 2 1 and for every a every b i can pop only 1 1 so for 1 a i have to put 2 b then only i can pop so that's why always number of b will be double of number of a now is it greater or equals to or greater it will be equals to 0 n equals to 0 what is the meaning of n equals to 0 when i am writing a to the power n and b to the power 2 n and n is greater or equals to 0 means it can be possible a to the power 0 b to the power 0 also because i am accepting n equals to 0 means why because here you can see the first transition was there if there is lambda a to the power 0 b to the power 0 means what that is actually lambda a length 0 string means lambda no a no b number of a is also 0 number of b is also 0 no a no b that is actually lambda so with lambda i am able to reach to final state so it is accepting lambda also as it is accepting lambda that's why n will be greater or equals to 0 and your answer will be this one your answer will be not this one both are same you can see a to the power n b to the power 2 n it is also a to the power n b to the power 2 n but answer will be this one because it is accepting lambda according to this one other than that you can see yes it is working for each and every a i am inserting 2 1 in the stack and for each one b i will pop it and in this way this is working i hope you can understand it and if you understand then let me know in the comment section you are getting interest is the concept is clear or not and there was another question in 2021 also like this and it is a popular question of UGC NAID gate everywhere this type of question are asking i will upload this 2021 question also if you show your interest Thank you. See you soon in my next video. Stay tuned with this channel. Bye-bye.